The first thing that is really noticeable about early Tsongkhapa paintings is they're very uniform. So we're really only talking from the early 15th century. We, we don't have any confirmation that there are existing paintings of Tsongkhapa that were done during his life. So we're really working from the point at the basically the end of his life. He passed away in 1419, so we're looking really at uh, uh, 1400 uh, till the end of the, really the 1500s uh, for early paintings of Tsongkhapa. Now, one of the things that's most noticeable is how generic he is. He always appears in this formal posture, wearing monastic garments, uh, wearing a yellow hat. His two hands are in the Dharma teaching gesture, and he often holds the stem of two Utpala flowers blossoming uh, over the shoulders with a sword and a book. Very standard, uh, legs in Vajra posture, uh, right folded over the left. Now, what else we notice with the early paintings is they really do follow the register uh, composition, register format composition, which is one of the four main types of composition that we find in Himalayan art. Now, the register uh, really falls out of fashion in the 16th century, and after that, we begin to have the floating composition. That's where the figures are no longer in these um, vertical and horizontal rows, very regimented rows. Rather, the figures can float freely against uh, uh, an idealized landscape background of sky, cloud, mountains, and, and uh, lush uh, green um, grass in the front with streams and trees. That, that is really a, a late 16th, 17th century development. So, the early paintings of Tsongkhapa follow the register format. So the main subject of them, of course, is Tsongkhapa. And he uh, usually has attendant figures around him. Now, in the early paintings, we can have two, four, six, or eight um, uh, attendant figures, which are his main students. In the late paintings, uh, the, in the floating figure composition, then we really only are down to basically two figures, uh, the Kidrup and, uh, uh, the, or rather the Gyaltsup and Kidrup, the, the first and second Gundam Tripas, and uh, after Tsongkhapa, and uh, they become the two main representative students. But in the early paintings, we have many more students who are represented. And in the very earliest paintings, we actually have Kidrup, not there. We actually have Gyatsup and then we have Trakpa Gyaltsen. So Gyatsup is sitting on Tsongkhapa's right and Trakpa Gyaltsen is on his left. And then after these early, very, these are very early paintings. After that, then uh, Kidrup students replaced uh, Trakpa Gyaltsen with, uh, with the, their teacher uh, Kidrup. Um, now, the, the registers, the registers are really, uh, again, very uniform. And they start at the top center and they progress down one side and then the other. And I say that because there's two different lineages. One is a Yogacara, one is a Madhyamaka, and these two are the foundation lineages for the Lamrim Chenmo, the, for, for the, the, all of the teachings that go into the Lamrim um, are in fact coming from the Yogacara and Madhyamaka. Um, started by Asanga and, uh, and Nagarjuna, or the Bodhisattvas Maitreya and Manjushri. Two of the paintings, early works, we find a life story. So, so these are really quite uh, interesting and quite historically important, as uh, they also have inscriptions. So it's very good to uh, be able to chart these uh, narratives along with the actual texts. And there are at least 40 different biographies for Tsongkhapa from the early times. So we have no idea right now which biographies these two paintings came from. Now, Along the bottom of these early paintings, we can also have a few, we can have, sometimes we can have some Buddha figures, uh, some Bodhisattvas, but more often it's um, Ishta Devata, it's uh, meditational deities and some protectors, and then we can have a donor figure at the bottom right or left corner. So, 
The important thing is early paintings of Tsongkhapa are done in this register composition and uh, they're quite uniform and they really do accentuate the most important lineage that came to make up the uh, um, teachings for the Lamrim, the Lamrim Chemo. So that's Tsongkhapa.